Hi, I'm Jang. Hey, I'm Kim. And this is Triple Cripples. not looking disabled enough. The other thing that we wanted to talk about is the fact that, you know, even with all of that, even with that, okay, people need to see you have a physical disability that affects your mental abilities, that affects your ability to look them in the eye, that affects your ability Let them be lower my gaze, yeah. That means that you shouldn't be able to do anything at all. Um, like Without drive, like them helping around. you. Thank you. Yes. Um, on top of that, People are very uncomfortable if they see that you have a disability and you are presented in the way that Jay and I are. Lashes. If you are beautiful. They're like, sexy wife. Oh, you're too, you're too beautiful. You're not disabled. I've There's nothing wrong with you. You're too pretty to be disabled. And I'm like, what? I'm sorry, what? Honestly. It's, it's the most bizarre thing for someone to say or like, oh, but you're still beautiful though. I know, and you're like, at what point did I say I was ugly, fam? Where? Where's, where? Where's from where? Your where is it? I can't find I it. I know I'm beautiful. And when you have confidence as exactly. well, it's it a rattles problem. Them. It rattles them deeply. It's a problem. They're like, no, it's like that song by One Direction. You don't know that you're beautiful. They want for it to be them that validates yeah. your beauty, that validates this confidence that you have within yourself. But mm -hmm. then if you have this agency yeah. you know this higher sense of self without them needing to intervene then they feel like they need to take you down a peg yeah and then being disabled and being black as well oh girl. girl you better stop Ooh, it girl especially if you're dealing it. with um the misogynoir that comes from uh, our dudes like they're Honestly. like oh no no you think you're you think too much of yourself you're too you nice have standards. you're too you nice have standards you think you're too nice Honestly. and i think you forget you're in a wheelchair so really you need to lower those madam madam you forget yourself listen you i've had someone yourself. tell me that <laughs> you're in a wheelchair i don't think you're supposed to have those kind of discrimination listen I'm six foot one so for me and I'm in a wheelchair I'm quite big and I'm quite tall so if someone wants to help maneuver me they need to have at least a bit of strength or whatever so if I'm saying something practical like oh you know what when I'm transferring I need for someone to be a little bit strong if I'm unable to do it myself I don't want to injure anyone yeah. that is a practical thing that is not me being oh shallow and even if I wanted to be shallow are disabled people not allowed to have preference am I apparently not allowed to have not. preferences apparently not I can't because of the wheelchair I must be blind I must not have any you idea must about take anything. what you're given listen but unfortunately there are some people out there that look for specifically for disabled people because of their disabilities they're called devotees we'll talk about this another time yeah and that's just a whole nother kettle of yeah. fish but back to the whole thing about how the visuals affect people's outcomes so when you do present the way Jay and I present, when you're interacting with professionals, either health professionals or social services, they see you as less deserving of help and care. They see you as not needing as much attention. They see you as not needing what is actually deserved or facilities that are there what provided right? specific, specifically for you. They don't, so in even when they're interacting with you, to, whether it's to do with housing, whether it's to do with um, physiotherapy, whether it's to do with um, appointments, whether it's to do with triage appointments, whatever it's to do with, automatically, the minute you present the way we do, they're like, oh no, but you don't need as much help as all these other people who perhaps yeah. are not in terms of self-care able to do certain things or perhaps don't dress a certain way. And so it negatively, yeah. at least in my experience, has no, negatively affected me. Yeah. And so sometimes I have to make the conscious effort when I'm going out, oh, make sure you don't, you know, look too bubbly. Look too bubbly. Make sure you don't talk the way you talk, make sure you don't do your hair and maybe wear a t-shirt that maybe you wore to bed that night because they're not gonna take your needs seriously if you look like you. That's crazy. It is crazy. And then bringing it back to race because everything comes back to that. Well, I mean. Black women are super strong. We can handle anything, blah, 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 whatever. So then when you've got that plus a disability, it's as though, well, I'm more likely to help your other race counterparts because yeah. you can handle a lot more even though you are disabled and i can see that you're disabled in your wheelchair with your crutches with your leg brace with the medical evidence honestly like you've got charts <laughs> you've got charts b and they're like oh but you'll be okay i'll see to them first because you'll be fine actually yeah. no yeah i really won't be just because 
I don't outwardly present as though I wasn't able to shower, you know, the night before this morning. I still do need of assistance and I am deserving of the same level of care that you would give other people. Thank you, who might have the same condition and some symptoms that I have or yeah. whatever, and the other things I'm talking about. I had a situation the other day and uh, our time's up, but I, I will finish. You um, will finish. I had a she situation started the so other day. Finish. Yes, I will. Um, where I was in hospital. So I've been going to hospital for the same symptoms for about three years now, and they're all very terrible and it's all very horrible and my life is terrible at the best of times because of it. However, any time I go to hospital, they don't take me seriously. So first of all, you wait for hours to be seen, but then when you get in, they're like, you're talking about your symptoms and they're like, mm, okay, okay, whatever, whatever. And they literally act like that. They're very dismissive. They actually act like that. And when you're saying, no, this is what I have, I come in with lists of symptoms and when they have started, what causes them. And because even I'm able to document that, they're even more dismissive. Yeah. And so I had to pull up the last doctor. So I had to say, doctor, he was like, okay, can we, we don't have much time. So could you just, and I had to be like, doctor, don't rush me. I have every right to be here, just as much as everyone else who's been in your clinic and everyone else you've seen. I timed the last patient. I know how long they were in your room. Don't come and say after five minutes that you need to wrap this up. Well, because I'm speaking, so, and because of that, and having to pull him up, I actually got an appointment that was more useful than all the appointments I've had in the six years that I've been seen. Yeah. And it's because like he felt, you know, he was like, it, he, I pulled him up on something on an innate bias that he hadn't even noticed himself because yeah. he's so used to doing it. And black, black people disproportionately are treated badly by the NHS. Our because pain isn't believed. Our pain isn't believed, our symptoms aren't as serious and all of that kind of stuff. But also I'm a woman, you know, women, there's a lot of stuff to do with the way people consider that women are dramatic and all these kind of ridiculous ideas that people have. But then also, I'm disabled I'm not supposed to be able to talk for myself and if I am able to talk to, for myself that means I'm not as deserving as others and so I had to you know you gotta nip it in the bud but unfortunately this is something we have to go through All as well like you have to fight a lot more for things that people just get ordinarily like they wouldn't even need to ask for it it would be provided because they can see in certain cases yeah. that you do need it. So it's an issue, but these are the things you go through when you don't look disabled enough.